last time, Roy had the new DJX night vision scope on his air gun for rats. This evening, it's on the centre fire for foxes. Although it's not lambing season, the farmer here is keen for Roy to keep the pressure on, so it's a welcome opportunity for an outing. <laughs> Did you ever miss a lamb? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I love lambing. <laughs> kick coming out of every orifice. I know. You never have in the pockets. Well, that's quite good. I mean, the identification on that badger is absolutely fantastic. And that is a good 300 yards away, I would say, two, 300 yards. Without a rangefinder, it's very difficult to say. You can quite clearly see, you can make out the black and white stripes on the face. You can see the body shape. You can see the legs. I'm just recording the image through the scope at the moment. There's not a round chambered, we're just having a look at it. Unfortunately, we're getting haloing on the end of the moderator, reflecting back from the IR. Um, but sure that's not me. No, that's not you, it's, it's definitely from the IR on here. But we need to obviously have a, a bit of a play with that and, uh, and try and negate the flare that we're getting. Roy starts calling. Unfortunately, we have a technical issue, which means we can't show you the shot through the scope. But you can tell it did the job. What about a start there, Mr. Lofton? Well, no. This is to say, we're not going to be out for a, a huge session tonight. It was just to um, just get the kid out and give it a go. Um, and it's proven itself within the first 30 seconds of calling there. So um, no, that was very good. Very, very nice dog fox responded, came in. The only reason I saw him coming was because I saw a rabbit exiting stage left, coming from the left-hand side, and uh, it was making a hasty retreat. So I guess something was coming, and all of a sudden, the fox was in play right in front of us. And it, it come from a position that I wasn't, I wasn't thinking there'd be one coming from. Um, it came from the left-hand side rather than from, from the wood on the right. Um, so he was obviously already out and uh, looking for food and came in very, very keenly. But as I say, first one in, we'll go and have a, another couple of stands, um, see if we can count for a few more. Um, and uh, it's off a nice cup of tea and Betty buys. Our second spot delivers another great reaction. David's infrared sensitive camera, boosted by the add-on IR lamp sitting on top, gets the shot. Roy is enjoying the clarity of the night vision, which we will share with you at some point, but not today. He's also enjoying the chip pan hair care <laughs> look David seems to be sporting through the thermal. You in thermal is not pretty. Well, you in, in not in the <laughs> eye. No, I, I, I've never ever, I've never once ever claimed to be pretty, mate. <laughs> I'm, I, you know, you've never seen me in any model poses, have you? So, but no, as I say, that was that was good poses. fun. Pardon? I think there were some poses. Oh, uh, you have seen me in many poses. I'm just making sure that we haven't got a, another fox coming in laughing at us, but. Um, no, we'll go down and pick that one up um, and see what we've got. Again, another very, very pretty fox. What have we got here? Another dog. While we retrieve our fox, the conversation turns to the practice of shooting deer at night using the same technology Roy has been using this evening. For various reasons and in different parts of the UK, it seems to have become acceptable. I'm not entirely in agreement with the amount of people that are applying for night licences, especially down here. Um, people are being very, very heavy handed with their, their fallow populations. And I know a lot of people are, are, are using the excuse of um, agriculture, etc. Um, but I, I personally, I think that, that um, you know, deer should be seen as a, a fantastic resource and, and respected as such. And after seeing the way that deer can be managed alongside agriculture in Sweden um, and they, they can carry incredibly high game numbers of wild boar and deer and still produce fantastic yields um, on their cereals etc. I, you know, I, I can't um, see the sense in being as heavy-handed as we are at the moment with deer. We need to respect what, we've, what we have got and, um, and cherish it a lot more than we do. 
To be clear, shooting deer at night is illegal and can only be done under licence. Whereas foxing is permitted with its very own challenges, as any fox shooter will know.